Well, greetings to all the children of God at Memorial United Methodist Church, grace-filled, I might add. I hope and pray you are holding up well during what feels like to me adult time out. While we are in the midst of Holy Week, though, I am encouraging you to read the, the 26th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. In it, you will find a story, three stories, a plot to kill Jesus, a story of outrageous devotion to Jesus, and a story, a story of betrayal of Jesus. I'd like to focus on the latter of these stories involving Jesus' followers. The first is about unbridled, extravagant, and outrageous devotion. Mary, who is the sister to Martha and Lazarus, shocked everyone in the house when she broke open an alabaster jar, anointed Jesus' head with the contents, an expensive perfume called nard. The disciples were outraged at the waste, and no doubt all of those at the table stared in disbelief. No one understood this act except Jesus. We don't know what Mary was thinking, but Jesus understood her act of devotion. Nard was ex incredibly expensive, and perfume flasks in that day were often a woman's most valuable possession. Mary cared, though, not one whit what anyone thought. She risked ridicule and criticism in giving away her most valued possession to anoint Jesus, as Jesus said, for burial. This selfless act, Jesus said, would be told wherever the gospel was preached, and of course, Jesus was right. Mary's act is a model for all of us to follow. Give your all to Jesus. Your personal possessions pale in comparison to the gift Jesus offers, abundant life now and eternal life to come. Contrast this story of devotion to what follows. All Jesus' disciples, not just Judas, would ultimately betray him, despite their bravado and expressed devotion. Judas betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. Peter denied knowing him three times, just as Jesus predicted he would. The others scattered like rats leaving a sinking ship. They will remain in this terrified state for many days following that night in the upper room. Both stories are our stories, friends. They represent our choices and our humanity. Living as a disciple of Christ and devotion to him in, day, in today's world can earn you the title, Jesus Freak. Following Jesus' teachings challenges us. Taking up our cross, as Jesus asks, requires self-denial and trust in Jesus, certainly not always easy. In our humanity, we often succumb to the path of fear more quickly than taking the hopeful, loving path. The path of fear too often leads to suspicion, hoarding, blaming, hate, and violence. We see this now in the simple reality of a toilet paper shortage, and we've all had a few good laughs over that. That is, of course, unless you're the one without it. Friends, Jesus knows who we are and our potential. He knows we're fearful and forgetful. It's why he chose the simple elements of bread and wine to help us remember who we are and whose we are. Jesus reminds us through the communal sharing of this food for the body and soul, soul that despite our human frailties, we are forgiven. We are loved and we can choose love and hope over fear. I hope you will cast aside fear and trust that no matter what you may face, Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you and that you will choose to place your trust, your devotion, and your fidelity to our Lord. God bless you.